uh, in the previous class, Dr. Raichal performed um, the standardization of potassium permanganate using primary standard oxalic acid. In this class, we have to perform a new reaction that is the concentration of Fe2 plus present in the uh, n by 10 uh, more salt solution. So, here the required reagents are potassium permanganate, uh, 4 normal H2SO4, and n by 10 more salt. So, in this case, we have to pipette out. Ten ml more salt solution using this pipette and this bubbler. As because it is a colorless liquid, so we take the lower meniscus of this. Now we have to pour it into this conical flask. Now we have to add one normal H2SO4 And here also we take the lower meniscus of this liquid. And add it into the more salt solution. And here we titrate this solution with potassium permanganate and we don't use any type of indicator because here potassium permanganate acts as a self indicator. Now we added potassium permanganate drop wise to this solution and shake the solution vigorously.
So after the addition of few drops of potassium permanganate, so the color of the solution turns into colorless to yellow. It indicates that the iron Fe 2 plus to 3 plus conversion is there. So that's why the color will be yellow. Now the addition of two or three drops, it will be turns into pale pink color. And this is the end point of this. And we record it that is 9.5. End point. So in previous, the bullet reading was 9.5. So we start from 9.5 as an initial reading. Now we added potassium permanganate drop wise and vigorously shake the conical. So after the addition of few drops of potassium permanganate, the color of the solution turns into colorless to yellow. It indicates that the Fe2 plus is converted it into Fe3 plus which shows yellow color. So now, so now the faint color, pink color was observed and the bullet reading was 19.6. So in, the, in this case the previous initial reading was 9.5 and uh, in the final reading was 19.6 it indicates that we get near about 10.1. So now I am performing the titration third time. So now the initial uh, bullet reading was 19.8. So now we started the, the titration.
So we get the end point and the Bourette reading was 30. So uh, in in third case, we started uh, we started from 19.8 as an initial reading, and we get near about 30 as a final reading. So that is 10.2. So in the, the first case that is 9.5, and in the second case that is 10.1, and in third case that is 10.2. So we get the average value, and from it we can further conclude the experiment.